Hello and welcome back again. Now we're looking at interval estimates of population proportions rather than a population mean. We're looking at a proportion now. So uh, the, the process is very similar. The calculation's a little bit, a uh, little bit easier, I think, actually. Um, and then we'll look at interpreting these results. So here, this is just kind of a silly exercise I made up because. I often find people have more Facebook friends than they might actually have friends. I think it sort of redefines what it means to be a friend. But anyways, that's that's just me. Uh, so upon realizing you have uh, 1,296 Facebook friends, you decide to do a quick check to determine how many of them are your actual real world friends, people you'd actually want to spend time with. And so you take us rather than looking at all of them and take you forever, you just take a random sample of people in your list of Facebook friends, say 200 people, so here we have a sample of, oops, a sample of 200, and of those we find that only 23 of them are people that you would actually want to spend time with, that you'd actually want to have an interesting conversation with, and so the rest of these people in that sample, they must just be friends of friends, or people who have added you, or who knows, for some reason, people that have somehow connected with you. So what is the point estimate of the population proportion of your Facebook friends who are your we real world friends? Well, this is a relatively straightforward calculation. So here I'm just looking at the ratio. Now of those 200 people that I've sampled, uh, 23 of them are my real, real world friends outside of Facebook friends. And so that's all we need for our sample proportion. So this is just simply 23 divided by 200, so 11.5. Uh, so 0.115, so 11.5% of my sample uh, are my real world friends. Uh, part B, calculate the standard error of P bar. So the standard error of P bar, this formula, this is just P bar times one minus P bar divided by N, and we take the square root of this. This might look similar to exercises we did when we were um, using the standard normal distribution for an approximation of binomial distributions, right? Uh, maybe that's faded out of memory now, but probably not the first time that we've seen these calculations. So this is the square root of 0.115 times 1 minus 0.115 divided by our sample size is 200. And so let's, uh, let's see what we have. 11.5 uh, times, uh, open brackets, 1 minus 0.115, close brackets. So there's our numerator. Uh, divided by 200 and square root that, so 0 0.026. So there's our standard error, 0 0.026. Part C, calculate the 95% confidence interval for the proportion of your Facebook friends who are actually real world friends. So here's what we have. We have our point estimate here is 0.115. And so we need to figure out what are these margin of errors, right? This is plus the margin of error. This is minus the margin of error. You'll notice this procedure, the process, is the same as when we were looking at um, population means. And uh, the formula is very similar as well. We're using the Z distribution because we're, we're approximating this binomial distribution with the Z, with the standard normal distribution. So this is Z times the standard error. So it's it's the same, right? When we were looking at means, this was X bar plus or minus some critical value times the standard error of X bar. So we've seen these formulas before. Uh, hopefully it's nothing too, too alien for us. So a 95% confidence interval. So again, we want alpha by two so if we're looking at a 95%, alpha would be then 0.5, right? One minus alpha is confidence. And so alpha must, uh, let me just, I don't want to skip a step. So if we're doing 95%, this is 0.95. So alpha must be 0 0.05. So alpha divided by two is 0 0.025, right? So this is going to be P bar 
plus or minus. Let's go to our z tables. We've seen this value before. This is a popular one. We look for here it is 0 0.025, and that's a value of so this is z.025, 1.9, and up here is 6. So our z value is 196. And this is, of course, plus or minus 196 because that z distribution is symmetric. So that simplifies our calculations a little bit. And our standard error, well, we've already calculated that. So that can come over here, 0.026. Okay, so now we can go ahead and uh, figure out what those limits are going to be. So this is my point estimate, 0.115 plus 1.96 times 0 0.026. So that upper limit is 16, let's call it 166, 0 0.166. And the lower limit will be 0 0.115 uh, minus 1.96 times 0 0.026. So 0 0.64, 0 0.064. So there's our 95% confidence interval estimate for the proportion of my Facebook friends who are actually my friends. Now, I'm lying a little bit. I don't actually have, <laughs> I don't want to give the impression that I have so many Facebook friends. Imagining we have 1,296 Facebook friends. The true proportion of those 1,296 Facebook friends who are my real friends is between roughly 6.5% and 16.5%. So that true population proportion, somewhere in here. We just don't know where 95% of the time, or we're 95% confident. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Um, that's, uh, it's easier than a sample mean, I think, right? Some of the calculations, especially the standard errors, uh, much easier, I think, than uh, dealing, with po um, dealing with means. Okay, enough babbling. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.